need to ask for everyone to stand up and to join me in the final toast of the night. May you both live long and as you like and all need as long as you live. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Dylan and Taylor escorts. Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dave Lewis, and on behalf of Dylan and Taylor, I want to welcome you to an event that has been literally years in the making. I got a fire in me that can't be tamed. I hear the moment and it's calling my name. So, during the summer of 2013, Tay and Dill's love story started to unfold. Tay and Dill knew each other throughout high school. We would all often party and hang out together. However, one night at Tay's family cottage and one romantic boat ride later, Tay and Dill started to be together all the time. Yes, our story starts in that awkward year of zits and hormones we affectionately call grade nine. So like all grade nine boys, Dylan doused himself in Axe body spray and mustered up the courage to introduce himself to the coolest and sexiest girl he had seen. I'm king of the mountain. Oh, yeah. I'm king of the mountain. Not long after hearing my brother had a girlfriend, I soon met Taylor. She seemed familiar, but I couldn't quite pinpoint it. Oh yeah, she was the one with her Jeep parked on the fallen tree outside the bush party. <laughs> That Jeep actually still lives. I rebuilt it. I had to pull the tree out of the front seat and there was blood stains on every single window. Out of the jungle, I'm the king of the rock. I got a power in me, nothing can stop. Take me up. Dylan, I asked Taylor why she is marrying you today. And she said, whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. Well, she actually didn't say that. Um, that was Emily Bronte in the book, Wuthering Heights. But what she did say was kind of the same thing. You see, she told me this. She said, we will never grow up. Life together will always be a riot, full of adventure and love. I never thought it possible that each step of our lives could be more fun than the next. But together, we make a killer team that will never settle for boredom. I'm king of the mountain. Their everlasting love started in a small town in Ontario, and it has taken them to Whistler, BC, Australia, New Zealand, and back to Ontario. Their love continues to make others around them feel warm, and I am just very proud of them for taking this huge step in their lives. And so as you embark on this new adventure together, in the next chapter of your story, do you Dylan and Taylor pledged to create a life of mutual respect, compassion, generosity, and patience toward each other as you grow together in years. We, we do. do. <laughs> oh my God. You like it? God, you look so good. Holy shit. Do a little, do a little twirl. Oh my God. Oh, that's good. We kept our shit together. <laughs> no one cried. No one died. <laughs> Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Oh, sorry. Wrong speech. So because you, Dylan, and Taylor have now consented in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before your family and friends, by virtue of the authority vested in me as a minister of the word of God and by the laws of this province, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. And now, please stand if you are able for the bride and groom, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Escorts! I would like to thank the Academy for the recognition and work. Dang it. Wrong speech again. 
we'll get there eventually. Okay, so Taylor, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry, it's fine! <laughs> Everything's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I think you've been with Dylan long enough to know now what you're getting yourself into by, by now. By joining this family, and to be honest, I don't have any sympathy for you. Your cheeks hurt? Yeah. You're smiling? I can't believe I didn't cry because I sobbed uncontrollably yesterday. <laughs> Did so. you? I'm so excited. You were there, but maybe you don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> we were wasted.